This is the problem given to us. We need to find Z bus matrix by using building algorithm for this problem. If you see the buses, these are first bus, second bus, third bus and the reference bus. These are the buses given in the problem. We already understood from the previous videos that in order to obtain Z bus matrix using building algorithm, we need to add one element at a time to the actually available previous existing nodes until all the elements are completed here we have five elements so we need to add one element at a time until the actual network so first i am adding element one ohm between the reference bus and first bus after adding we'll see how the bus impedance matrix will modify if you see the first step I added an element between first bus and the reference bus so a extra node is created with this the order is increased from 0 by 0 to 1 by 1 so this is the Z bus matrix which is obtained at the final stage of first step and I am adding an element of 2 ohms between the first bus and the second bus this is the second step of Zbus building algorithm so in the second step if you observe I added a 2 ohm from first bus to second bus hence the order increased from 1 by 1 to 2 by 2 so we need to find the extra row and extra column values and we know that the off diagonal elements when the mutual impedance is neglected as ZQI is equal to ZIQ is equal to ZPI where P is nothing but the node from which the element is added and Q is nothing but the node to which the element is added hence the P value is equal to 1 and Q value is equal to 2 and I value depends upon the previous number of buses in the partial network so there are 1 buses hence we got I is equal to 1 so we can see the formulas of of diagonal elements and diagonal elements if you see the diagonal element we have zpq plus small z pq pq small z pq pq is nothing but the self admittance of the actually added element between the first bus and second bus so by using these formulas we can get the extra row and extra column values of the modified z bus matrix if you see z12 and z21 Z22 is the diagonal element, Z12 and Z21 are of diagonal elements. So this is the Z bus matrix of second stage. Now we are adding we are adding the third element between the first bus and the third bus. So this is the with this the extra node is created. Hence we can also treat this as a branch. So adding an element between first bus and second bus and the element value is 2 ohms so the node from which the element is a first node and the node to which the element is added is the third node so p is equal to 1 q is equal to 3 the i value depends upon the number of buses of previous network in the previous network we have two buses actually hence we got i value as 1 and 2 so we are now as the branch is added the order is increased from 2 by 2 to 3 by 3 these are the half diagonal elements z1q z2q and diagonal element zqq and as we already derived the expressions for half diagonal element when the mutual impedance is neglected here if you observe i took p value as 2 because i am adding the element from the node 1 I took Q value is 3 because I had a Q value is 3 because I am adding the element to the node 3 and I value is equal to 1 to 2 because there are two buses in the previous partial network. So these are the four half diagonal elements which we got from I is equal to 1, 
for and for i is equal to 2 similarly we get the diagonal element zqq as zpq plus small zpq pq small zpq pq is nothing but the self impedance of the added element between the first bus and the third bus so in this way we got the diagonal elements and off diagonal elements of the modified z bus matrix so with this the addition of uh, branches uh, is completed and the remaining two elements comes under addition of links because they are connected in between the two existing nodes of the partial network thank you very much